So in today's video we are exploiting a bug, it's not really a bug, it's very hard to explain what this is. Basically there's an AFK bot lobby glitch kind of thing, which I will go over in a second on how to do it, because I mean if you don't know then I will tell you in a second. But I went over doing this for 3 hours, because one I was intrigued of how many kills you could get, two I thought it would be quite good content for YouTube, the last video I done on this done quite well, and uh, honestly a lot of people use this, if people are buying badges from people, they are probably using this exact method to get you a badge. So like me showing people for free, I don't think it's that bad at all. They should patch this in some way, although it is someone creating accounts to uh, to sell on. But we will go over it all in this video. I'm going to be talking over a lot of gameplay. But basically, I managed to get just under 500 kills in 3 hours. So you can, you can put it however you want to. Grind, kill grinding this way is incredibly fast, but it is risky still. And I will say also, I ran into a couple of grinders this season, a couple of top 20 kind of alters were there, and uh, yeah, interesting. So let's get into this. So I started off by making a new account on PC. Uh, I went ahead and bought Caustic because Caustic is honestly the, the easiest legend to do this with because he does damage with his Q. You can see in the background that it gets a lot of damage. I actually got 71,000 damage over about three hours. So uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of damage there. Uh, Caustic is by far the easiest player, easiest one to do this with. You have like Catalyst Fuse that also have Qs that do damage, which would be very useful. But I did that first and I changed my servers over to Hong Kong, which is going to be my first thing you have to do here. Basically, you you go into solos, you change the server to Hong Kong, you have to play at a time where it's not busy, so Hong Kong are about 8 hours ahead of me, so if I play kind of 8 o'clock at night, then it'll be like 2 in the morning for them, no, 4 in the morning for them, uh, which means that like it'll be the servers won't be very, very busy. Uh, there are other servers you can do this on, but Hong Kong seems to be the most popular one. Now, I will say that every video will not, well, every game you have will not go like this video has. Uh, I didn't, I had a lot of games where I got no kills. There was a lot of people doing this. It's not just me doing this. It is a very common thing. And uh, there, you will run into people killing you. And uh, it will happen, but you have to just find games and get lucky just like this one. And later on in the video, I will go over the easiest way to find games like this one rather than running into a lot of people. So stick around. This is also only for PC, but you can actually have like cross progression now and you can have your console account play on a PC if you kind of have a decent PC that can run Apex. To be honest, the PC I have struggles to run Apex. And in the background, the gameplay is PC gameplay, but I am very much a console player. I had to plug in a controller i am um, and i just it was a struggle i had to play on some like low ass settings and everything was uh not looking nice but i just thought i'd do it for the content here so after a while of doing this you kind of realize how they work and how the bots work basically they fly right to the end and then they go backwards on themselves so you kind of go like a quarter of the map and uh you do slowly learn kind of where they're going to land to and uh, you can see how they also landed in lava. But the, the best thing about the solo mode for doing this, and what makes it so easy, is that they all respawn. And if they all die at the same time, they all respawn in the same place. So you can see here, this is the same game. They all landed quite close by down at Epi. So what I normally did is if I actually managed to get like a few kills and they all died, you have to look up in the sky, find out where they are, and then you can go back to the same place again. So say if you've got like 15 kills in that first one, you can probably mop up the last five by like the second wave of them coming in. And you will also see that there's a couple people actually shooting me in this game. And this will happen most games. This video is going to make it look a lot more plain sailing than it is. I'm showing you kind of like 20, 20, 30 minutes of gameplay of like three hours that I've done. So it's not as plain sailing as it looks in this video. Uh, but you do you will get people killing you and uh, also I'm on like 400 ping so it, it's not easy and honestly it's kind of boring uh, unless you like want to just jump in and get a badge quick and then like leave and that you're done with that that that's fair enough but kill grinding like this it is so it's mind numbing as hell uh, if people people that are doing this which I know people are now doing it because this is also a bit of a test to see if I could find anyone and I did find this guy so here I am, man of my own business, and then suddenly this altar kills me. And when I see an altar, I wanted them to kill me to see if they actually had a thing come up. And as you can see, this guy literally has over 5,000 kills with altar already. And he hasn't even hit his name. He's just shamelessly doing this. I, I, come on. So as you can see here, we're on Apex Legends Status, which is a good website for tracking kills. And we have the PC leaderboards. I will say this guy is pretty high up anyway. But as you can see, Half-Life Henry is number 15 on PC right now. And he is uh, killing bots constantly. Uh, interesting. If you actually go on Zoom, you can see that he has actually played some games. I'm not going to put it that he hasn't played any games, but he's won 15 games, and that tells you a lot because you don't really win games on when you're killing bots. You just kill them all and you leave because you can't bother to find them for 10 minutes. It's a waste of time. So it tells you a lot about this guy. 
And another thing I just want to mention is look at this tweet from him. Uh, I managed to find his Twitter and uh, 5k in three weeks on pace for 10k in six. And it's not surprising. It's not surprising using them methods, mate. But uh, yeah, back to my video. So just a couple of tips now. There's a few things you could do to improve your chances at getting more bots in the game. And uh, also you can uh, kind of be smart of it. And if you get a lot of people kind of contesting you, then you can just leave. And if you go into another game quickly, they won't have a chance to get out of that game into another one. So you get more chance to get more people that are like these AFK bots. So what you want to do is when you're going across in the dropship, obviously Solos has 50 players. Now you want to watch if when how many people jump when you get kind of near to the end. If you get like more than five, I would leave and go again because I, I've kind of figured out after doing this for three hours I kind of learnt the strats of this a little bit so um I'll try and help you out so uh yeah if you get like more than five people drop it's just an absolute mess and uh it's it's better to just kind of take that as a loss 30 seconds queue into another game and you'll hopefully get some more now another thing you can do here is you've got to think about these bots these bot accounts will have no kills at all I actually got killed by one uh I'll put the clip in here, <laughs> but they shouldn't have any kills at all. Sometimes they punch, and I guess they do get lucky, so they're not um, completely AFK. But if you uh, think about their KD, they're going to have like 1,000 deaths, probably. Because, uh, yeah, they're, they're, these accounts are trying to get level 50 so you can sell them, so you can play ranked and stuff. So they, they're just running all the time, I assume. The only reason they play Gibby is because he has a bubble and he can live the longest, pretty much. But the point I'm trying to get is that their skill-based matchmaking, or EOMM, uh, will be the lowest possible so this means that you have to try and replicate having a very bad account now the only way you can do this that we know of is if you die a few times so if you were to die kind of like five times five to ten times say depending on your kd uh eventually you will get put in a lower skill based lobby which will hopefully have more bots in so that's going to be like my main tip to do that I would say if you're like keen to get a load of kills in one game, like drop a 20 bomb and get your badges or something in a solo mode, I would kind of die 5, 10 times, then try do this method at the right time of the day. So there's a lot to go into that, and also you get high ass ping. When you drop, I'd recommend trying to find a gun rather than just like punching or anything. If you like drop, figure out where they're going to drop, find a gun, try and kill them as fast as you can, and uh, hopefully you don't get contested. Uh, it can be annoying, but at the same time, you can't really get annoyed at something that's like an exploit like this is because you're getting something for free that a lot of people struggle to get and won't ever get. So if you have any questions for this, go into my description of the video and go on my Discord. Uh, you can join it for free. I, I, I've only got like 25 people there at the moment, but I'm trying to make it a bit of a place you can ask me questions or anyone in my community, I guess. I don't really like calling it my community yet because there's not enough people, so I'll say my small group. Uh, but this game in the background here was the best game I got of the three hours-ish I was playing. I actually ended up getting 52 kills in one game. Now, I also had a, a 46 and a load of 20s. I think I had uh, 8 or 9 20 bombs. So, within 3 hours, I uh, I got about 10, say, 20 bombs. And if you think about it in that way, it's pretty damn crazy. Um, but yes, uh, this was definitely the best game I had. And it, it was really lucky because I killed a load of people here. Pretty much uncontested apart from one person. And then they were literally dropping just down the hill from me when I went down there. And pretty much killed the rest of them off again. So loads of kills. And uh, overall, a uh, interesting experience. This account now has 471 kills. Uh, and once again, this is in kind of like three-ish hours. Maybe three and a half hours. Uh, I got 71,000 damage and uh, over a 6kd. Uh, that probably could have been less, if you're being honest. I was, to do this whole video, I was kind of, I didn't want to like, I was chilling at the same time, so this kind of thing. So I didn't have a headset on. I did. Ha I had no volume, actually. I was just kind of guessing. So if you were like trying to hard sweat this, you could definitely get more than that. Uh, obviously, I was cool stick, so it does make it easier. But yeah, I also got level 12, so uh, you actually get a lot of free packs just for like, ranking up this account. So yeah, I got like 15 free packs as well. But yeah, once again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments about this, or uh, join my Discord if you want like a more direct, like easier way to ask me questions. But I hope you learned something in this video. If you're going to use it, then uh, be careful because apparently you can get banned from it. But at the same time, there is a banning bug right now. So it's a bit up in the air. It's not really something that should be bannable because you're literally just playing on a different server. You're not actually doing much wrong. Uh, it's more of a game issue, to be honest. And it's just being exploited by people. And that's exactly what I've done for this video. But cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like if you are at this point in the video. Let me know what legend you are playing this season. Because uh, I like people that stay to the end. But cheers guys, thanks for watching, and peace out for now.